Thanks to this audio's author. Find more information in the description below. And now, enjoy. Much as I hate to admit it, babe, you were right. Camping is actually fun. Why was I so opposed to this again? Uh, now I remember the mosquitoes. Well, I can handle a few bug bites if it means spending a day like this with you. My favorite part? I'm not sure. Today was packed. Maybe the big sycamore you had us climb? Or roasting s'mores over the campfire? Wait, I know. Fishing. Yeah, would you believe that was the first time I ever went fishing? And I actually caught something. But that wasn't even the fun part. I just liked sitting there with you and chatting. It was peaceful. That's how I'd describe this whole day, really. Peaceful. Even the hectic parts, like trying to set up the tent. Look, there's even a full moon. I think it's a harvest moon, too. Look how yellow it is. It's beautiful. <sighs> I'm really glad I spent this day with you. I'm really glad I met you. You're kind of perfect. I'm serious. You mesh so well with me. It's like we're two halves of the same person. Almost makes me believe in soulmates. I don't know. I just saw you in the library, looking at fantasy books of all things, and something in me said, yes. Maybe you just looked cute and all serious and thoughtful like that. All I know is I really wanted to meet you. So I asked for your number, and the rest is history. Babe, I know we haven't been dating very long, but everything's been going so perfectly. We have so many shared interests. We haven't yet had a bad date, even my family loves you, and they hate everyone. I'm serious. You did make a good impression. You might not have been able to tell, but I could tell. All of this is leading up to something, yes. I wanted to tell you something that I haven't yet. Babe, I... I love... Oh! Ugh. Oh, that doesn't feel right. Was there something funny on those s'mores earlier? This is... Uh. Yeah, I'm okay. Just feeling weird. Almost like I'm gonna... Oh, that feels much better. Hi, cutie. Nice to meet you. What's that? You're not the easiest to understand when you're stuttering like that. Yeah, I grew. I grew these ears and this tail and these longer teeth. I even grew a few inches taller. Looks like you'd still tower over me, though, if we were standing up. And yeah, I grew in other ways, too. I can tell you noticed. You're not very subtle in sneaking glances. But what the heck? We're dating. You can look as much as you want. I'll certainly be looking at you. <whistles> My counterpart was very rude keeping you from me. And after I'm the one who told her to date you. So ungrateful. Yeah, my counterpart. The girl you've been dating. She's been in charge of the body way more often lately, and she just has not let me see you at all. I guess she wanted to keep you to herself. She didn't tell you? <sighs> of course she didn't. Probably didn't want to scare you off, but that just makes my job harder. I can see I have some explaining to do. You've been dating a werewolf, cutie. Ordinarily, I'd be a lot more lupin when I'm in charge of the body, but I'm making a special effort for you. 
Of course she knows about me. How could she not? We leave each other sticky notes. We came up with a system where we switch off control of the body every three days, but lately she has not been following that rule. Trying to steal more time with you. The idiot might have killed us both. Have you noticed how she never seems tired, no matter how late at night it is? That's because this body never sleeps. I sleep while she's in charge and vice versa. Her not letting me take over could have done us both irreparable harm. Like if you went without sleeping for a month. No, we can't talk to each other. What makes you ask? Oh, that. Well, I was asleep, but when I smelled you, it was enough to drag me back to consciousness. Like I said, I couldn't exactly speak to her, but I have ways of making my desires known all the same. She probably thinks she came up with the idea of dating you herself. You're my mate, silly. Of course I woke up for that. No, of course it wasn't for something stupid like fate or destiny. Being forced to date someone even as amazing as you? Ugh. I'd hate that as much as you would. No. A mate is more like a match on Tinder. What? I don't know much about human society, but I'm not clueless. I smelled you and I just knew. You and I are perfect for each other, even if my counterpart is involved. I knew even then that if we started dating, it would work. And look where we are now. The other half of me was about to confess that she is, in fact, in love with you. But, well, I couldn't let her do that without having met you myself first. She's been working real hard to stop us from interacting. She made sure she didn't have anything with your scent on it. She didn't write down any of your information. She even changed the password on our phone. Rude. Good thing she didn't know I can take control like this on Harvest Moons. Probably because I didn't know. Oh, don't worry. She'll be back in the body in three days and I'm sure the two of you will have a very fun conversation. For now, though, the two of us can have our own kind of fun. It's not just your smell, you know. I've been watching through her eyes whenever I can, and you really are a perfect cutie. Truth be told, I'd probably want you all to myself, too, if I'd met you first. As it stands, though... I can share. Just not tonight. Tonight, we're out here in nature, under that big yellow moon. No one else for miles around. Oh, I think you know exactly what I'm thinking. You can give me head pats. Uh-huh, head pats and ear scritchies. It's going to feel so good. Yep, that's what I want most out of a mate. Someone to cuddle me and take care of me all night long. Oh, I've been looking forward to this since I first smelled you. I never get ear scritchies, and sometimes you just need them. And then tomorrow, I can turn into a full wolf, and we can spend the day together like that. Running around the woods with you, I just know I could do it forever. I know, we have to go back to civilization soon. We can't stay in the woods forever. But once we get back to the city, you can get me a collar. Then the whole world will know I belong to you, and no one will try to take me away from you. No one had better take you away from me, either. I'll rip them apart if they try. My counterpart? She won't object. I can do whatever I want with the body when it's my turn. And she won't dare try to mess with that after keeping you to herself for so long. Besides, she might even like it. Now, cutie, come on, to the tent. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. I want head pats.